Hey everyone, it's Sarake, and today I'll be drawing most of my Bokura no Monogatari OCs. Before I continue with the rest of the voiceover, I just wanted to say that I'm we're soon to hit 2,000 subscribers, and for that I wanted to do a bit of a Q&A. So if you have any questions that you want me to answer, please pop them in comments down below. And whenever we hit 2,000, I'll do that Q&A video. Yeah, I'll be drawing most of my Bokura no Monogatari. I haven't done this in a while. I, I've done this quite a few times, actually drawing all of them together. And I've really always, I've always really, that probably sounds better. I've always really liked the way those kind of pictures turn out. Um, here are a few examples. So this picture was a bit of a journey. Originally, it was going to be done completely digital. And I do actually have some digital footage of where I try so hard to ink it digitally and I just get frustrated and I am done. <laughs> so uh, what I did instead was that I took the sketch, which uh, was originally in my big black sketchbook. Um, I had done it in red, so when I scanned it, it was super pale. So I ended up having to turn it black and white and then up the contrast quite a bit to make it visible. Uh, I then printed that sketch and retraced it because it was so simple. It was it was very, very simple. Um, most of their hands and fingers weren't mapped out properly. Uh, they had very simple expressions, like just sort of character thingies, and uh, most of them didn't have clothes either, so I took out my light box and did a new sketch on top of it. Uh, after I was done with that sketch, I brought that into Photoshop and turned it blue because I wanted to try something, because I, I wasn't about to sit down and try to ink again using uh, my tablet, because my, my tablet and I are just not good friends right now. I do not know what it is. I'm just, I'm having the worst hand-eye coordination right now, and I'm actually considering getting a tablet with a screen, but I don't think that is going to fix my problem, honestly. I just think I'm not really friends with digital right now. So... Here you can see I printed it out blue, and I am lining directly on top of the sketch. And once I've finished lining it, I'm going to scan it again, and then I'm going to remove those blue lines in Photoshop. And uh, I do have the clips in this video, but you can't really see what I'm doing because the way I record on the computer, um, I use XSplit Broadcaster, and you can focus it on a single window. and. I do that so that you won't be able to see everything else that I bring up because I get a lot of um, instant messages and stuff from Discord and things. So you don't see all of those pop-ups because I have it restricted. And a side effect of that is that you can't see me opening menus and filters in programs like that either. Um, so I I should have... I should have fixed the settings, but I forgot about it in the moment. But basically, I just went and uh, added a black and white filter. Now, first I adjusted the levels, so the whites were whites and the blacks were completely black. Uh, that brought up the cyan as well in the blue. And then I added a black and white filter and pretty much just filtered out all of the cyan. And I think I pulled a little bit on the blue slider as well. Um, and that just it gave me a very nice black line art. And I really like this technique. I like it a lot more than I thought it would. This was sort of like a last hurrah for this because I wasn't sure whether it was going to turn out well or not. But I I really like it. The style. Like, it's, it's kind of sketchy. It's kind of messy. Um, I really like it. And I think I might be doing this at least for a while for my future digital art because it just... It saved me a lot of frustration with the whole... Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't drink soda right before recording a voiceover. Um, it just saved me a lot of frustration in the process, uh, not having to ink digitally. It, it still took me a very long time to do this piece. And it's not a very difficult one. Honestly. And it makes me mad. <laughs> Yeah, inking is done, and here you can see me pop it into Photoshop and do the whole levels and black and white filter thing. So there would be windows open, but as I said, because of the settings of XSplit, I, they don't show up in the actual recording. After that, I brought my 
image over to Psy and started coloring. Uh, I did flats first, which took three hours for some reason. I don't know why. It wasn't even... It's not like it's a detailed picture. I just... I don't understand how I've gotten so slow. I think that is what bothers me the most, is that I'm I'm so slow digitally. I'm sorry about all the popping. I um it's it's light and I have to talk a little bit lower than normal and therefore I'm sitting closer to the mic. So I'm sorry for all the pops. It mm, I'm also sorry for this voiceover. It is very Maybe this is my style of voiceover, though, because I'm always apologizing for it, and I don't know why. I think it's because I expect it to be something that it's not. I don't know. I mean, I've never been very very well articulated in my speech anyway, so... I should stop apologizing for it and just, just go for it, I guess. Once I finally got to the shading, I think I started enjoying doing this picture. Like, I remember... The first, the very first sketch I did in the sketchbook was really fun because it was so simple and quick and uh, it was an idea that I'd had for a very, very long time. I have several digital files where I have lined up circles like for all the characters, but I just never got around to it. So having that sketch down finally made me really happy. And uh, once I got past my initial frustration with the inking digitally and found a way to do it traditionally. Uh, I feel pretty okay inking it and uh, after the flat coloring, the flat curls we don't talk about those, but once I got to start shading it, um, I felt happy again. It was a really enjoyable process. Oh yeah, I want to talk a little bit about inspiration for this because I did have some. Some of you know I'm into K-pop and Super Junior is one of my favorite groups, my, my ultimate favorite group, honestly. And uh, where was I going with this? Oh yes, the reference, or not a reference, but the pictures that I've taken inspiration from are some of the stuff they've done for SPAO, which is a clothing line. Um, I'll put a few of them up here. There is a specific one. I think they've done it together with FX. And it's just really, really cute. And I like the concept. And I know there is a clip from a video where they are lined up, just Super Junior are lined up together, similar to this, with like their hands in each other's pockets. And that one too really inspired me doing this. Um, it's just taking me years to put it down on paper. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh yes, um, project? No, I'm starting a new internship. I know, I intern a lot, it's it's the thing I do apparently, uh, and it starts today, as you're watching this, or Monday, anyway, and um, it's going to be 40 hours a week, like everything else here in life, so if, um, shouldn't affect my video schedule too much, because I haven't changed it again since I was working last winter, uh, we know I went down from uh, two videos a week to one video a week, so... I think it's going to stay that way for a while. I do have uh, a little parenthesis on my uh, on my page now that says there might be videos on Thursdays, but it's it's not a promise. It's just like sometimes I feel like I have something small I want to share and that stuff can go up on Thursdays. So yeah, um, if I seem tired in the future, this is why I'll be interning again. Um, so yeah, this video is coming to a close. We have a few seconds left, so I'd just like to remind you all about the Q&A that is coming up. So leave your questions down below or message me on Instagram or Twitter or something. And uh, I'll deal with that when that comes around. Thank you so much for watching. Please do, if you haven't, take a moment to subscribe. You can hit that button, join in for more fun art videos. You can follow me on my social media. Links to those will be down below as well as to my Etsy and my Redbubble. Um, until next time, keep on scribbling, friends. Bye!